question. This is, uh, in my mind, the, the largest uh, uh, congregation of folks that practice in site cleanup uh, in the world. It's an international conference. There's 33 different countries represented here. Uh, approximately 1,500 attendees, uh, and there are 850 platform and poster sessions. Remediation, uh, in, in, in summary, is um, cleaning up the legacies of our, of our past, uh, for the most part. Uh, and in the United States, we have some very stringent laws and regulations, which began some 30 years ago with the passage of the Federal Superfund Law and various states have followed uh, th that lead and so we have a number of cleanup programs that are active right now in this country. The biggest challenge is facing industry today is, is trying to do uh, more with less and sometimes some of our clients even say less with less uh, because it's, it's uh, with the economy and the situation we're in ever increasingly stringent laws, it, it puts a real real uh, burden on, on the companies to survive but also do the things that they want to do as far as environmental stewardship goes uh, in complying with the law. I think one of the ways is to put a greater emphasis on green and sustainable remediation uh, because what we're seeing is not only does it make sense for the current uh, situation we're in, but also uh, we oftentimes are going to see that we're going to actually save money uh, using a, a more sustainable approach. Uh, one of our, one of our, uh, one of my colleagues, one of our employees, Jim Wynn, is going to speak on that uh, at a green and sustainable remediation presentation he's making uh, later this week. I think that the biggest obstacle to effective remediation is getting uh, consensus on what should be done because there are so many various and diverse stakeholders that have an interest. You have the public at large, you have the regulatory agencies, uh, companies, government agencies, uh, the Department of Defense, for example, Department of Energy, uh, and of course then you have a variety of environmental groups. The thing I enjoy most about the job is the variety and the ability to contribute back something uh, during my life. Uh, I've been in this business for 35 years now and I've seen a lot of things come and go, uh, but it's always been a challenge and I've always felt like I was doing something, uh, honestly, to make the world a better place. The most common misconception I deal with each day, and, and perhaps it's because most of my work is with private sector companies these days, uh, is that industry leaders uh, don't have a concern uh, or a desire to do the right thing and to be good stewards of the environment. In fact, uh, we see many of them uh, that we deal with uh, taking very strong leadership positions within their own companies and actually making things uh, overall improve. I can tell you that Brown & Caldwell is a wonderful firm to work for. It's a very stable firm. Uh, it is an all-environmental firm. Our total focus and mission is oriented towards that. We have a very strong uh, company commitment towards sustainability uh, and green type development. Well, the, other, the other thing I, I should say is the folks I work with are wonderful people and it's a very ethical uh, group of folks and uh, all out to trying to make the world a better place.